Okay guys, make this viral. This is a viral video. This should be seen by every single American. Space Daily, this was a article dated the 25th of April. One of my subscribers passed it along to me and said that they had seen this three or four days ago. Now check this out. Is this not a planned event? Nuclear hellstorm hell if Bin Laden caught. 9-11 mastermind. Now you guys remember Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, Mohammed or whatever his name was that's kept in Guantanamo. I guess they've been torturing him and he said that if Osama bin Laden was captured or killed, here's what he said. I'll read it in his own words. The mastermind of the 9-11 attacks warned that Al-Qaeda has hidden a nuclear bomb in Europe which will unleash a nuclear hellstorm if Osama bin Laden is captured. Leaked files revealed Monday. Now this is WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. The terror group also planned to make a 9-11 style attack on London's Heathrow Airport by crashing a jetliner into one of the terminals, the files showed. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed told Guantanamo Bay interrogators the terror group would detonate the nuclear device if the Al-Qaeda chief was captured or killed, according to the classified files released by WikiLeaks website. Sheikh Mohammed, the self professed mastermind of September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States has been held at Guantanamo since 2006 and is to be tried in a military court at a U.S. naval base on Cuba over the attacks. And they just wanted to wait until use him, I guess, for this purpose. His nuclear threat was revealed in Britain's Daily Telegraph newspaper, one of several media outlets which have published the classified assessments of detainees at Guantanamo. The German weekly Der Spiegel, also citing WikiLeaks, said that Sheikh Mohammed had told his interrogators he had set up the two cells for the purpose of attacking Heathrow in 2002. The arm was to seize control of, a, of an airliner shortly after takeoff from Heathrow, one of the world's busiest airports, turn it, in, turn it around and crash it into one of the four terminals. Sheikh Mohammed said one cell had been formed with the aim of taking flying lessons in Kenya, while the other had been tasked with recruiting participants. Kenya? Oh, where have we heard of that place before? Hmm. He said the plot had been discussed several times at the highest level of Al-Qaeda. One component had involved the infiltration of ground staff at the airport, according to Der Spiegel. Another attack given the green light in late 2001 would have targeted the tallest buildings in California with hijacked airliners, Dr. Spiegel reported. The attackers would have gained access to the airliner cockpits by setting off small bombs hidden in their shoes, he sa it said. Sheikh Mohammed, captured in 2003 in Pakistan, also claims to have personally beheaded U.S. journalist Daniel Pearl in 2002 with his blessed right hand and to have helped in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing that killed six people. Dr. Spiegel noted that his confessions should be treated with caution as they could have been extracted through torture. Sheikh Mohammed is known to have undergone the method known as waterboarding. Former U.S. President George W. Bush claimed in his memoirs published last year that using the interrogation technique, which simulates drowning, helped prevent planned attacks on Heathrow and London's Canary Wharf Business District. He also told London Times newspaper in November that it was damn right that he had authorized use of the method on Sheikh Mohammed. That he had authorized use. Okay. Well, what do you guys think of that? Comment below. Make sure you guys show up. PropheticSeer.com nightly, 6 to 9 p.m. West Coast time. God bless.